Okay, hi. So let me tell you about translation, which is the last step of the um, the dogma of DNA. So translation, you need the mRNA that just went from the nucleus into the cytoplasm in um, eukaryotes. Although, however, it's already being translated as it's being transcribed um, at the same time in a prokaryote because they obviously don't have a nucleus. So, um, what do we need? We need the mRNA that's just been transcribed or is being transcribed. We need the ribosomes. Um, this is another difference between eukaryotes and prokaryotes. The eukaryotes has an ADS ribosomes, which is composed of the 40S and the 60S, whereas the prokaryotes, you have the, um, the 70S ribosome, which is the 30S and the 50S. So you need to know that because a lot of the antibacterial um, drugs actually target these ribosomes. So then, of course, you also need the tRNAs. Um, there's 61 of them that codes for 20 amino acids. Then, of course, you get the um, protein factors, and you get proteins from there. So basically, I have to tell you about the tRNAs, too, because there's two part of them. There is, of course, the anticodon part um, that will attach to the um, complementary codons on the mRNA. And then there is, of course, the amino acid attachment site. So each tRNA has a specific amino acid that it has, um, according to the anticodons. And the difference for translation is that it's translated from the 3 to 5 direction as opposed to the 5 to 3. It's the only step of the way that does that. So, let me tell you more about differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Oh, yes. To start, the eukaryotes usually have the AUG, the methanine, that's the um, start codon. And of course, it has a five, at the five end, there's a cap that will um, initiate translation, which is wonderful. There's, of course, three stop codons that you don't have to memorize. And we have the uh, reading frame. Yes. So basically, in the separate translation, you get from the mRNA, and then the tRNA comes along, and then it um, it's this really complicated process of having you know the three sites, the E, the P, and the A, and you know like the little transfer RNA comes into the P site, carrying its little amino acid, and you know it kind of attaches on to the mRNA that's already been like structurally supported by the ribosomes, whichever one you have. So, um, and then of course the next one comes along into the A site and the little amino acid on the P site attaches onto the, um, the one on the A site and then it moves over one. Um, and then the, the one that was in the P site now moves onto the, ex uh, the exit site, the E site, so then it goes away and the one that was in the A moves onto the P and you know, just goes on like that. So by the end you should have a pretty long polypeptide, which then, you know, codes for, you know, a um, protein. So that's why they say that amino acids are the building blocks of protein, as we say in our nutrition class, which is wonderful. Uh, well, anyways, so that's basically it. You know, the initiation step, um, ribosomes come along to the mRNA and attaches itself at the ribosome building site, and then, you know, you have the elongation step, the one that I just said. You have the termination step. Um, okay. Oh, and one other thing you have to know is the polysomes. There are multiple ribosomes that can read at the same time. So, yay.